Okay, uh, we are going to start. Yes. Today lesson is about the little bit remaining part of using future consumption function. Here, in this part, we discuss that how consum consumption responds to changes in interest rates. How consumption responds to changes in interest rates. Here, the picture is same. The picture is same on the horizontal axis. On the horizontal axis, we find C1. On the vertical axis, you can see C2. C2 means the consumption bundles in future. C1 is a consumption bundle. In the present time period, consumption bundle includes all necessary items and all items which will be consumed by the consumer in figure one. Then the dark blue color is the budget constraints and point A is the optimal level of consumption in the existing future model where consumers get maximum level of satisfaction with given Y1 and Y2 that is in the lead color you can see here so uh, above the point a till the vertical axis yesterday we discussed yesterday we discussed this part is uh, is showing the saving parts if the saving is the interest rate is higher consumer will save more in the current time period and you will be in the above part of dark blue color budget constraint from point A to the vertical point, intersected points. If interest rate is lower, then you will be, be on the point between point A to the intersected point on the horizontal line here. But now the point is that, let's assume one interest rate in, an, in current time period, let's assume interest rate rises. When interest rate rises, then the consumer will prefer to save more if the consumers are savers. But the interest rate बढ़ने की सूरत में अगर consumer savers हैं, definitely वो ज़्यादा save करेंगे. क्यों interest rate higher होने की वजह से higher saving पर future में उनको उस income पर ज़्यादा interest payment मिलेगी जो income उन्होंने save की होगी. So current Consumption come ho jayegi or future consumption aap ki bad jayegi or aap you will be on the new budget intertemporal budget constraint that is in the red color. Here you can see you are in the vertical axis you are consuming more C2 because of the higher interest rates and lower C1 in the horizontal axis. So this will be the form. So here you can see, you can listen, an increase in interest rate by words the budget line around the point Y1, Y2, by words. It means the budget constraints will be steeper, will be steeper where you can see that Consumers are savers and they are interested to save 
y1 more part of y1 and in period 2 they will consume more in the form of c2 so then the consumers are then a consumer one consumer is on the new budget constraint that is in the red color then the optimal level will be chosen by the consumer where the new budget constraint red color budget constraint will be tangent to the new preference line new difference curve line at point b where consumers are consuming less c1 here c1 decrease you can see the arrow arrow is showing from point a to this one from here to here consumption in period one decrease because one part of y1 is saved for future consumption so here c2 increase from here to here so you can see here c1 falls and c2 rises so higher interest rate more saving of current incomes and in future consumer will consume y2 plus portion of y1 that is saved for future consumption so consume more so new optimal level is at point b where consumers are consuming more in period two and less in period one so more c2 less c1 because of higher interest rate that is the simple representation of changes in interest rate in Irving Fisher model so uh, i'm sure you have uh, uh, got um, everything uh, in this lesson if you have any problem you can uh, we have the uh, this uh, slides you can go to the link and can read it and uh, but after the end of lesson you can ask everything no i am going to the next consumption model the next consumption model is here that is You can see here the next consumption model life cycle hypothesis. Life cycle hypothesis are, are here. Life cycle hypothesis, hypothesis mean is theory. Life cycle consumption theory is presented by Modi Galefranco, Modi Galeani in 1950s now here we see brief uh, difference between irving consumption model and life cycle hypothesis the difference between irving consumption model and uh, life cycle hypothesis lch life cycle hypothesis is that irving model says that lifetime consumption depends upon lifetime income you remember lifetime consumption depends upon lifetime income Consumer wants to get maximum satisfaction from lifetime consumption that depends upon lifetime income. And people try to 
achieve smooth consumption. Smooth consumption means same level of consumption in both periods. So please, is the next one. Now, the life cycle hypothesis is a little different, but uh, something is same. Life cycle hypothesis says that income systematically varies over the phases of consumer life cycle. The income systematically varies over the different stages of consumer life. Definitely, income varies. And savings allows the consumers to achieve smooth consumption. Smooth consumption means the same pattern of consumption. So if at any stage, income is higher, consumer save, additional income for next year consumption. So simply consumer saves to achieve smooth consumption. So smooth consumption is the, uh, is the agreed points between life cycle hypothesis and the Irving Fisher consumption model. So that is the agreed point, central point of these two, uh, these two theories. So I'm sure there will be no problem in this model. Life cycle hypothesis definition is here. Comparison is here. Life cycle hypothesis says that income systematically varies over the stages of consumer's life and consumer saves to achieve smooth consumptions over the lifetime period. I'm sure you have uh, fixed the concept and now we are going to the simple and uh, explanation. Right here. Here, here. Okay. Again, I'm going to share the screen. Life cycle hypothesis. Okay. W means initial wealth. W means initial level of wealth. Initial level of wealth means which consumer get from their forefathers from their fathers in the form of assets, properties, gifts is a part of wealth. Wealth. Why I mean annual income until until retirement? Like consumers start working from 20 years to 65. Over the 35 years, 40 years, he receives a constant level, assumed constant level of income each year. That is assumed constant level. Consumers receives constant, assumed constant income level each year till the retirement. Like uh, each year consumer gets, receives 50,000 till the time of retirement. 
R mean number of years until the retirement. R mean number of years until retirement working working time from 20 to 65 that is 45 years r is 45 years t mean lifetime in years over the time for example his lifetime is forty uh, sixty-five. 65 45 is working years Length by net use another Yes. Now, further assumption zero interest rate, no interest rate in this model. Second assumption consumer smooth consumption pattern. Each month, each year, they consume, let's assume, 40,000. Then consumption level is smooth. So each year, they consume 40,000, 40,000, 40,000, no change. Now again, the basic thing is that consumers have initial wealth in the form of W, annual income, over the time of working, why? Number of years until the retirement, working time period is R. Lifetime period is T. T assumptions are zero interest rate and smooth consumption. Okay. Okay, now the lifetime resources are here W plus RY total resources over the life W plus RY RY R is the working years Y is the annual income over the working time period so 50,000 per year income multiply working time period so that is the total working time income plus wealth so lifetime resources are w plus ry which are here for your best understanding they are here you can read okay now the important very important point we are going to discuss to achieve smooth consumption, consumer divides her resources equally over life. Then consumer divides all of her resources equally over time. Then consumer achieve smooth consumption level over the life here consumption is equal to total resources divided by t divided by t so these are the smooth consumption levels each year over the time smooth consumption level so this is the key equation of life cycle hypothesis okay so the key consumption of life hypothesis here. Now, we further revise this equation. T divided by with both parts of wealth. When we divide T with W, then it is 1 over T. When T divides, by W, then we get 1 over T into W. 1 over T is alpha. We denote 1 over T with alpha, alpha W. Alpha equal to 1 over T. Then we divide both parts of sources with T. So when we divide with W, 
that is 1 over t is alpha so alpha is the marginal propensity to consume out of valve alpha is the marginal propensity to consume out of valve alpha is the marginal propensity to consume out of valve now we divide t with r by then r over t is the beta r over t is the beta that is the marginal propensity to consume out of income out of income working income that is self so we finalize this equation consumption equal to alpha w plus beta y alpha shows the marginal propensity to consume out of valve beta is the marginal propensity to consume out of income but one thing very important the key point of life cycle hypothesis is here only here to achieve smooth consumption consumer divide total resources by total lifetime period and achieve smooth consumption level here you can see here this part remaining is a simplification jab hum isko simplify karte hain then hamare paas ye picture aati hai lekin hamara key point is theory ka kya hai wo beta yahi hai achieve smooth consumption consumer divide all of our resources equally over time divide by time 